Okay, uh, we got uh, two mail calls today. Uh, this one from uh, Rainbow Bright. Um, she has a great channel. I like it. Um, she has a lot of cool stuff on there. And uh, unfortunately, I, I heard about. Uh, I just heard about uh, what's going on. And yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that. But you know, you beat it once, you can beat it again. And like I said, you probably caught it early enough. But uh, anyway, hang in there, doll. I'm sure it'll. Sure it'll work out and wow that's a great looking sticker isn't it very colorful i like that it's going to cheer me up every time i see it so uh, a little something from our channel here mail call today today we have three mail calls so let's start with number one you'll see that that's my address. Okay, next. Um, a sticker from Farm Boy uh, 30117, I believe. Uh, this is his second channel. Or, yeah, second channel, I think. Nice sticker. Very cool. And it, it, if I had thought about it, I would have left your room on the <laughs> on the cabinet for this one too. I, but to be fair, when I got your last sticker, I didn't know you had a second channel, so I'll find a spot for it. But I mean, it would have been nice to have it next to the other sticker you have. But it's okay. We'll work it out. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. And today we're going to finish up our light installation by installing this rugged ridge pillar switch pod going to mount on the driver's side a pillar so let's go in here and uh, see if we can get this and then I found this yeah that's believe it or not raises and lowers the mower deck on that Gilson right there and I was missing this and somehow it was stashed away so anyway it's gonna get cleaned up and if I ever use the mower deck on that I can at least raise and lower it now and uh, so I'm working like crazy, and uh, I just I don't have time to do anything anymore. And then I come home, and <laughs> this weekend I plan to do some writing or something, you know, something fun. And the antenna, that cheap antenna I put on my roof died, so I had to go out and buy this one. This one better work and better hold up because it was $179. And if you look at it, it's not $179 worth of parts on there, but I'm tired of climbing up on the roof to put these cheap 70 or sorry. The first one was $35 and the other one was $40 or $50. So I've already almost spent uh, money on antennas before I got this one. So this was rated by Consumer Guide. It's supposed to be really good. The 70 mile range, yeah, not in my area. It's more like 35, but that's fine. We can get all the channels uh, that we need. So, um, so that worked out well, but it was a day, you know, climbing up and down the ladder and whatnot. So. And then uh, I might carve out some time to go riding. The problem is last time I was out, I ran out of gas. And, and I was at the gas station when it happened. But I just put it on reserve and rode it home. So there's about less than a gallon of gas in there. I have to take the tank off and clean it, uh, paint it again because the seal between the, the top of the uh, brake reservoir and the brake reservoir itself is leaking at high speed so when you get up above I think 40 50 it leaks um, brake fluid and it's already chewed into my paint so that's got a tanks got to come off and I've got to repaint it and I don't want to have to deal with draining a lot of gas so uh, if I take it out for a ride it'll just be a quick one a um, couple miles down the road and back but uh, I think we're pretty much done with riding for the winter although again for November 4th or 5th it's like 70 degrees out and if we hit 70 um, right now it's 50 but if we hit 70 like they say it will be a record so um, but if I if I want to repaint that I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use uh, that duplicolor automotive paint and it's a two it's a two two part paint right so 
the idea is that you pour it right from the can and spray it on your car. They have a primer, a, a base, and a clear um, that's already mixed, thinned, and ready to roll. And um, supposedly it's a two case uh, paint. And uh, well, oh, right here. So I had used it once before. I can't really see. I wish I had better lighting in here. Uh, see, hang on, let's turn. Yeah, that didn't help too much. But um, so I painted this with that 2K paint and from Duplicolor, and uh, uh, I use this quite a lot to beat on things and whatever. I don't know. It seems to be holding up pretty good. Get my camera work right. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna try it. I figure I got nothing to lose. But the rattle can is just too too subsept uh, too. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it, it just it just it, it it's too easy to spill something on it and have it chew right through the paint. So I'm hoping this will be a little more durable because. It's a cheaper and easier way because I'm not a paint guy and I don't know how to mix the paint and how long to let it sit and all that before you spray it. And This stuff supposedly right from the can you can go right into the gun and start spraying and it's supposedly really good. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but that's it for now. i uh, put these up in the cabinet and then uh, I've got a little writing clip I took. I was out the other day running errands and I had my glasses and I just clicked them on and then uh, but I didn't have my mic with me so I just shoved the uh, recorder in the um, into my pocket so I just got like the sound of the bike so it's just a short clip but I'll put that at the end of this one just for something to add on to it so all right hope everyone's having a good time and uh, you know I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not getting to everybody's videos and I'm not getting time to do my own but it's temporary right once I get these guys squared away um, I'll have more time on my hands, but it's going to take a good six months to get everything in place and uh, where it should be. And uh, I just don't want them being out of compliance, you know, because that's really bad for a nonprofit. So, so, but they have said they're. Um, so, the, so the company I'm working for now, I, I actually work for a placement uh, company that. Um, uh, so I, I basically work for tech systems and um, I'm contracted to the company I'm working for. Uh, they've already said they're going to offer me the job when my contract's up in six months or, well, it's less now, it's five months. <laughs> in fact, they want to do it now, but there's no legal way they can do it without getting in trouble. So, um, so that's good. That's a good sign. Um, so anyway. I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. It's just been one of those long weekends, and I just want to get this up and out so I have something on here. Um, and thank you to all my new subscribers. Hopefully, you'll hang around. Um, again, this is just a temporary lull. I'm, you know, I'm gonna miss videos, and I'm, and I'm not gonna be putting many up. I'm gonna try, but you know. So, all right. Uh, let me get these on the, uh, get these on the cabinet, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, there she is. Looks real good. Nice contrast. <laughs> it's a restorations, VW restorations. And then there's Farm Boy, uh, Farm Boy's garage. I didn't, um, I didn't say it uh, in the last clip, but uh, you know, I, as you've seen, I inserted a clip from that channel too. So, and uh, her husband has a channel, Papa Smurf my northern accent might be butchering that a little bit um so uh that'll be a, there'll be a link along with these two um in the description yeah, i'll just do a quick pan uh, my if i can steal the phrase from dullboy's garage this is sort of my wall of friends right dennis Bud, I haven't seen any videos from you in a while. And, of course, you dizzy.
Okay, and just because uh, Rooney and Matt uh, were showing their rigs for the winter, I'm all set. Um, I need, like, shoes or something there. Um, but, frankly, even if I don't have them, I'll be fine because the driveway's pretty straight. There's not a lot of... Uh, there's no cracks or dips or anything that's going to catch the blade. So, you know, if I have to run it where the blade's on the ground, that's that's fine. Uh, it'll be fine. But I am going to see if I can get those. Um, I guess they're spring-loaded shoes or something to kind of help uh, balance the blade a little bit. But uh, And then this one's not quite ready. Um, I was hoping to paint this before winter, but it ain't going to happen, this snowblower. But um, I'm going to wind up... Uh, uh, doing it next spring probably I, it's only a single stage I guess but it's okay um you know I think it'll it'll do fine it doesn't have to throw it 30 feet it just has to get it off the driveway right so uh, but it's ready I mean I I greased it up and uh, oiled what needed to be oiled and it's just a matter of mounting it to that and then uh, that needs to be put away now on uh, the trailer and right now it's my makeshift table <laughs> So, you know, whatever. Uh, I still haven't painted the deck for that. So I'm going to do that because I actually might use that next year uh, just to, when I'm in a hurry, just to mow the front and backyards because, you know, I can get in a lot of spaces with that one that I can't with this one. This one's just that much too big that it would, you know. Uh, so, but I might actually try it. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, I've been taking them out and running them every weekend just so that they're not sitting. But, um, so that's where I'm at. So I'm not quite ready for winter and I still have to get the back tires on, which are sitting over there. So, you know, little by little, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, I guess. But and the air compressor's out because I had a flat tire the other night and then I had to replace my serpentine belt, which there's the uh, idler the uh, tension pulley for the uh, on my HHR the uh, tension the uh, pulley that puts tension on the serpentine belt is like right next to the frame and the gap between the pulley and the frame is so small I couldn't even get like a it's got a a 3 8 you could put like a 3 8 wrench in there it's got like a little square notch in there so you can move the pulley but you can't get a wrench in there because it's like so narrow of a gap you can't get in there I wound up using a couple of screwdrivers in my jack to move the pulley out of the way so I can take the belt off and put the new one on. It was sketchy as all get out, but you know what? It worked because <laughs> I didn't have time um, to go get a, um, uh, I guess if you get a tensioner wrench, it would fit in there because it's basically just a flat piece of metal with the 3 8 uh, square piece on the end. So anyway, if you own an HHR, you might want to invest in one of those tools, get a cheap Harbor Freight one. You'll have to cut it down because they're too long, but um, you, you'll want it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll want it. So, okay.